what is up guys welcome back to our channel if you want to know how me and my mother made this beautiful peach cobbler waffle and this drizzled oreo waffle then stay tuned in for our video It's your girl Sabrina, ATL Fat Divas, back in effect. We're about to do my famous peach cobbler waffle. What? Peach cobbler waffle. And we're going to do an Oreo waffle. So we're going to do two in one. Before we jump into this video, guys, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And here we go. All right. Our first ingredients will be... Aunt your mama pancake mix I'm using, but you can use any brand you want that tells you to add water. Don't do the one with the milk. Then we're gonna have any kind of classic cake mix, any kind, just as long as it's cake mix yellow or supreme, doesn't matter. Then we're gonna have my little secret, mango tea, okay? I know it's crazy, but mango peach tea. Get an I envelope. I that's Kool-Aid. It's Kool-Aid, but it's mango peach tea. Okay. A can of peaches, sliced. You can chop them up whatever you want to. A jar of cream cheese. That's, that's for your be, drizzle. That's for the topping. That's for your drizzle. And cinnamon. Okay. Whipped cream. Any brand would do. In a can. Some waffle cone, that's for your crush, y'all. You ain't gotta do no pie crust. I'm gonna show you how you do it. And good old brown sugar. Okay. okay, and this is for which waffle? This is for the peach cobbler waffle. So I'm gonna use just half and half to make a waffle. What you need to do is probably, ain't gonna take long to get this thing hot. So let me just cut it on. Oh, and I need some spray Danielle. You should use spray your waffles. Waffle, get a good one too. This is a Belgian. I got it from Sam's Club. Okay, so, so a waffle maker. A waffle, waffle maker, Belgian waffle maker, whatever. So what you're gonna do is do half of your waffle mix. So I got a little bit of pancake mix, and now I'm about to put half of the um, cake mix. That should be enough. Just half of it. Half of a cup of water first. Because you don't want to be too thin, but not too thick. Okay? So that's not enough. You want it just like pancake mix. But not, maybe a little thicker than pancake. And just a little bit more, y'all. Now I'm going to add my Kool-Aid. But I'm not, adding, I'm not adding the whole thing. Just uh, maybe a tablespoon, just a tablespoon for the flavor. Maybe just a little bit more. Not much though, not the whole pack. You don't need the whole pack for not one waffle. Now unless you're making a whole bunch of waffles, yeah, use the whole thing. Then we're gonna add some cinnamon. But don't forget we're doing peach cobbler. We need cinnamon. And don't forget you got the cake mix in there. So that got flavor, a flour, whatever you need. I'm going to add some. Uh, Show them in the, um, now, you know what would be good? You could add some rum to that, too, if you want it. But we're not going to add no rum. Um, cinnamon. And what else I got? Brown sugar. I'm not going to add any. I was going to add a little bit of white sugar, but I just thought about it. We got the cake mix, and the cake mix already has sugar in it. And then you're going to add syrup, so you really don't need all that. Extra. So I'm going to turn it little. Daniel said turn it orange. I put two dots of red and two dots of... This should turn it orange, I guess. We're going to see. Yeah, okay. That worked, right? Yeah. Okay, so we'll see. 
it's orange. Two dabs of each, y'all. Whatever you do, two and two of each. Okay, now we're about to pour this in because the waffle maker is hot. And what I do with my waffle maker is I let it cook a little bit before I um before I even close it. So now let it bubble up a little bit and cook. Then while he's doing that, you take a waffle cone, maybe one, maybe maybe one or two. I'm gonna say one. We start with one first. That's cooking. You see it's cooking. Crush it on top of your waffle. That's where your your, your crust come from, y'all. Okay? That's your crust. That's already okay. looking like a masterpiece. Oh, I know. That's right. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to close it and let it cook. It might boil up a little bit. That's okay. It's all right. Smells good, though, too, don't mm -hmm. it? Okay, so now... We're going to come back in a minute, y'all, and show y'all how we put it all together. Okay, okay guys, we're going to look at it. Ooh, look at that with the crust. Ooh, it's almost there, y'all. I'm going to let it cook just a bit longer. I'm going to flip it. Mine flip. Look at y'all. Ooh, gorgeous, right? Look at the color. Beautiful. What you about to do now, Mom? So now what we're going to do is open up some peaches. And because everything is so sweet, you don't need to cook down the peach. Now you could cook a little bit, but you don't have to. This is really for presentation, okay? So let's just put a few here, a few there. And then what you got left, put it in the freezer. And then you can like make a little peach compost to put on top of it, like a chopped peach. Oh, so that you, looks good. And you ain't got to, um, You got the syrup in? Mm-hmm. Okay, now, see how we got that, y'all? She took this frosting right here and put it in this Little container. Sweet, you know, in this melt and this melted it. So now what I'm gonna do is crumble some more crust. That's, that's, uh. Well, the, I say crust, but y'all know what it is. It's a- uh, Waffle cone. Waffle cone. Okay, don't that look good, y'all? So now we are gonna drizzle. Some of this on top. Okay. And do add some whipped cream. Add some whipped cream. Okay. A little bit. And peach. So you know what you're working with. Like that. A little bit of cinnamon. Look at that beauty right there. Look at that, y'all. Peach cobbler, Belgian right. waffle. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to try the waffle that my mama made. I'm gonna just take a piece of it and bite into it and see what it's giving. Mmm, it's good. It tastes like a peach cobbler. Oh, this is good. Y'all really? should try this. Y'all should try making this. This is very good. It's very flavorful. It's sweet. Um, every bite is, is it's amazing. All right, guys. So the next waffle we are about to make is the Oreo waffle. So we're still going to be using the same um, type of batter. We're going to be using the, um, show them the, Ain't your mama's butter, buttermilk complete um, pancake mix. And then we're going to also be using uh, the classic yellow cake mix as well to start the batter. So all we're going to be doing is half and half again. How much is half and half? I mean, it depends on how much waffle. We're only making one waffle. So you just got to play with it, you know. When you're making pancakes, you really don't know how many you make until you make them until the batter's gone. And if you got leftover, you might save for the next day or you throw it away. Okay, and then what are we going to do now? Now we're going to add some water. Well, about and a like cup. I said, and I always do half first because once you put too much in it, you can't take it back out. You either have to probably add some more mix. Yeah, so this is fine. This right here is fine. 
So now what we're going to do is add, add a, little, a little bit of chocolate. And then we're going to add a little bit of um, this a generic chocolate fudge syrup. You can get the name brand Hershey as well as um, the Oreos we're going to be using are not real Oreos. It's off brand, but you can use the any Oreos you want. But, you know, this is what we're going to be using as the flavoring. I'm an Audi girl, so everything I buy basically comes from Audi. So yeah. thank you that much. Just Hershey. enough. A little bit more. That's good. Taking that much. I already sprayed it, y'all. These are over here. Show me cookies. And like I said, I use all these brands. So we're going to be using these cookies. They're not the real Oreos, but uh, of course, uh, you could go to Walmart, Publix, Kroger's, and get the real brand and get the ones you want. Um, she got these from Aldi, so that's why they're the off brand. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pour my batter in like I did my other one. And if you see it as not mixed good, mix it as you go. So I'm gonna let it, like I said, I'll let it cook a little bit. Make sure it's even out. You know, because it is gonna rise up. It's depending on how many cookies you like, um, I just crumble them. She's gonna crumble up the cookies. And don't forget, you can always put it, some on top. Maybe use four cookies, maybe? That's enough. Three to four. Just make sure it's evenly spread it out. That's good. And then when we come back, y'all, we're going to show you what it looks like while it's cooking, okay? Hey, guys. We at it again. I'm just going to let you know, you're going to have a lot of spillage. So it's okay. Just make sure you spray your outside of your waffle maker so it won't be hard to get off. So I'm going to let you, I'm going to flip it over. I'm gonna show you, but well, no, I'm gonna flip it first. Let me flip it. And I'm gonna take some of the excess stuff off. And like I said, invest yourself into a good waffle maker too. Don't get a cheap, cheap one. I got this one from- um, Was it Belk's or uh, Macy's? No, this came from Walmart. Oh, really? This was Walmart. Maybe $29, $39. But I love this, this flip one, love it. So we gonna clean this a little up. And I'm gonna show you the waffle. Uh -oh. oh Lord, y'all! But it's ready though. It flipped out. Uh oh. We gonna leave it on that side. But it's okay. It's fine. They go a little piece. Let me taste it, y'all. Mmm, y'all good. Now, what I was about to say is too, if you have some leftover chocolate chips, oh my God, throw a little bit of chocolate chips in there too. That'd be really good. You can put nuts in there. Make it your own. You even could put some miniature uh, marshmallows. Oh, yeah. A s'more waffle. Yeah, the s'more waffle. Yeah, there you go. So, like I said, y'all, once you start making waffles, you come up with all kinds of creations. Is yeah, it so, about done now, Mom? Um, I'm going to let it flip one more time. Because I think I flipped it out. But you see how easy it came out of there? It'll flip. That's why I said I like these flippers. They don't stick. So what, guys, what we about Once to do? Once you start smelling that chocolate, it's ready to come on off. So we'll come back once the waffle is done. So guys, this is how the Oreo waffle came out. It is beautiful, and it is ready to be plated. So let's plate this waffle and get it together. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is take it out. And like I said, make sure you spray them. And it's hot, y'all. So I got hot hands. Woo! So you see the cookies, everything came out good. I'm gonna close it, I'll clean this up in a minute. So now you see the waffle. What I'm gonna do is get some more cookies. I gotta put a lot. I'm gonna, ooh, y'all dropped some, but I'm gonna put a few more on top, okay? And then I'm gonna take my drizzle from sure, early. Sure, sure. And I use the Aldi's bread, cream cheese, it ain't got cold, y'all, but it's all right. Okay. That's good. Chocolate Ooh. drizzle. Look at that, y'all. That Look is good. beautiful. Then we're going to take this whipped cream. And we're going to do little dollops. Like that. Ooh. And then we're going to come with this just a little bit. Just a little bit. 
okay? That is beautiful. And then that's your Oreo waffle, guys. All right, easy. And it's gonna be delicious. Okay, Danielle, I want you to try this delicious Oreo waffle. She's cutting it now, y'all. Mm. Get a little bit of everything. Mmm. Good? Yeah, that's banging. That's good? Mmm. -hmm. Good, Danielle? That's good. Okay. She said it's good, y'all. You can't, you can't mess up a waffle. It, it tastes like a brownie almost. Oh my God, really? It tastes like a brownie, like a real fluffy brownie. And like I said, y'all, all you have to do is remember mm. pancake mix and half of a yellow or yellow supreme or white supreme cake, okay? It is delicious. Two for two, two for two. Both waffles were delicious. I recommend you guys try this simple a uh, recipe it didn't take a lot to make didn't take long to make as you can see okay make sure you use an auntie mama or i do all these bread pancake mix it says water but make sure it's half and half of half pancake half cake mix and then um you're gonna add your product inside the waffle like i did let it cook a little bit let it cook then put the top on it and let it cook flip it out top it with your toppings and it'll be ready to go so simple Kids can make it. You could do strawberries. You could do strawberries and cream. You can make uh, cream cheese, strawberry uh, waffles, blueberry waffles. You could do with fried chicken and waffles. Take fried chicken pieces while the waffle is cooking. Throw it in there. Cook it. Oh my God, it'll be so good. We might have to do that video next day, y'all. Chicken and waffle waffles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that might be the next one, y'all. So thank you so much for watching our channel. Make sure you um, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. See you on the next video.